Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to participate in an ICO using Parity Wallet. Now Parity is one of my favorite Ethereum wallets out there. I wouldn't say it's the simplest to use, but it is my favorite because of how powerful it is. So you go to Parity.io, download it, and go through the installation process for your OS. And then you launch it, and it looks something like this. Um, click on accounts, set up a new account, go through that process, and then here you go, you got your public address. So you can send Ethereum from your exchanges to here now, and it'll show up at here after it syncs with the blockchain. So now you're ready to participate in an ICO. You go to an ICO's website, and you sign up, go through any process they may have. Some of them have know your customer processes, which require you to send them your detailed information like your photo ID and whatnot but other times maybe they don't depending on what country they're in or what kind of ICO they're running but after all of that is done you're ready to participate in the ICO once it opens and so you go to transfer over here in recipient address is where you put their contract address for the ICO you're trying to participate in they will supply this to you in a variety of ways, um, but just be sure to be careful and double check it because sometimes hackers hack their website and put in their own address there and then you're sending them money, not the ICO team. So put that here, put the amount you want to buy in to the ICO, make sure it's a valid amount for whatever their rules are. And let's just see, let's just do 0.1. And then click advanced sending options and then click next. Okay, so you don't really have to put anything here, but some interesting things to note. First, there's gas, price, and then these conditions. Now they're all important. Sometimes it's a free for all, like the ICO is just like, we're open now, send whenever, send however much, but that is not really clean and I don't like those ICOs because they open it up for whales to eat up all of the tokens and leaves you and I um, unable to get any or we have to be very lucky to get some and so usually they tell you a certain block number or a certain date and time in which it'll open and so you have to wait until after that time for your transaction to get mined so using these options you can set a number or set a date and time in which your transaction will activate and so this is a good way of automatically putting in your bid. But like I said, you still have to compete with whales because they can do this technique too. So if they send this in and the network is really congested, even using this approach won't really help. So let's also look at what gas and price are. An analogy that kind of helps you think about it is this has to do with transaction fees. Gas is like in a car the 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 gas price is the price per gallon and the gas limit is the number of gallons the car can hold and so if you think about it this way the miners care about the gas price because that's the price you're offering for gas and they have the gasoline they're trying to serve you so they're going to take whatever price is greatest and so if a whale is really rich and they want to offer like 10 times the amount for gas price to kind of ensure their way into an ICO then they can do so if the rules and smart contracts don't restrict them. So let's just take a look at Kybers. They had a gas limit right here, 150,000, a gas price, 50 G-Way. So what is G-Way? G-Way is a unit of Ethereum. One Ether is one. A Finny is a thousand. I know these are confusing, but a G-Way is one billion units of ether so not 1 billion ether but like these many units and so if you go back to parity sorry for moving this around so much but right here is the gas price 50 g way so this is at 10 10 billion so this is at 10 g way so you'd want to change this to 50 billion and the limit let's go back here is 150,000 so by default it's pretty low but then you'd have to change this to 150,000 and so that's like kind of controls the amount of time any transaction runs in the network is the gas limits and the gas price is what you offer the miners to mine your transaction 
so obviously it makes sense that the miners want to mine the ones that are most lucrative for them, right? So after that, you press send and you are good to go. So after you're done, depending on how the ICO is set up, you may get your tokens immediately or it may come later. But if it's in the token registry, and this is like the registry for like Etherscan and all those other Ethereum blockchain explorers use to view tokens, if it's registered with the to official token registry, it'll show up here when it's ready, either immediately or like I said later. But if not, you can always follow the steps I listed in a previous video and view the contract just to make sure that it's tied to your account, in which case you can control it as well. So that's it, pretty simple, but a few things you have to note. Let me know if you have any questions below and I'll see you on the next one.